Skeletons, it's Disney Queen Skelly here, and I got myself a brand new camera. Uh, just because my old one wasn't filming like I had liked it to for a while, so I ended up getting a new one because I want higher quality videos. So today we are reviewing Silly Symphonies, The Three Little Pigs. I personally love the Silly Symphony. It is one of my absolute favorites, and uh, we're just going to get right into it. So first we're going to start with the IMD stu IMDB stuff that I found online. IMDB rating 7.5 out of 10 stars, runtime 9 minutes. Plot summary 1. The three little pigs each build a house of different material. The big bad wolf comes along and blows away the straw and stick homes, but is unable to destroy the house of the bricks. Plot summary 2. The two pigs building houses of hay and sticks scoff at their brother building the brick house. But when the wolf comes around and blows their houses down after trickery like dressing as a fondling sheep fails, they run to their brother's house and throughout and throughout they sing the classic song Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. So overall, I actually gave this uh, silly symphony an 8.5 out of 10 skulls. And let me tell you why. So I will say that the song brings back really good memories. I personally love the song Who's Afraid of the Big Bad Wolf. I have it on my playlist that I play in the car constantly. So, and I used to listen to it as a kid. Uh, my mom had all of like the Disney, uh, the Disney song CDs, like the Disney volumes or whatever. And that was on them. And I remember listening to it in the car all the time. And sometimes when I hear it, I can hear the song that plays afterwards. Like, you know when it's just kind of engraved in your head and you're like, you listen, when you were younger, you listened to like an album or a playlist for so long that when one song plays, you expect this, this, the song afterwards to be what you remembered, but it's like something different, you know what I mean? That's kind of how it is. So the pig who's building the house made out of sticks, he looks like he's wearing Donald Duck's costume, which is really weird. I kind of looked at him like, that looks like Donald Duck's sailor suit. I never really noticed that before. Um, the straw pig kind of looks like Popeye, Popeye the Sailor Man, but he also, in a way, also looks like olive oil. So I was like, huh, okay, a combination of the two. <laughs> uh, the brick pig kind of looks like a dwarf. Not gonna lie with the way he's all dressed up, he kind of looks like one of the seven dwarves. They, one of the, I don't know if this was in the, the Silly Symphony song that plays on the, the DVD, or on the CD, but they said they'd shoot the wolf down. Like, Jesus. <laughs> That shocked me because I was like, I, I, I am so not used to that. Like, I'm used to, like, the stuff that we watch nowadays, like, where it's kind of, like, really, like, low-budgeted. Well, not low-budgeted, but it's, like, lower. It's, like, how do I explain it? It's, like, really G-rated now. Like, it's really censored nowadays. So back then when stuff wasn't as censored and, you know, you're hearing these things like, oh, I'm going to shoot you down or, you know, you see kids or you see, like, alcohol and tobacco in, in like kids stuff, you know, you don't see that nowadays. So when you do see it, like when I see it in these shorts, I'm thinking, what the hell? Like, I'm not used to that, so it always trips me out. So when they said they'd shoot the wolf down, I was like, what on earth? Like, what the hell? I'm not used to that. And there's not as much singing in this one as there is in most Silly Symphonies. M mind you, the, the thing is about nine minutes long, but I think the song itself, if it's, if I have it accurate to what's on the album, is about like three, four minutes long, so I don't know, that was just different for me. Um, so the sheepskin, I, you know, he said, I'm a poor little sheep with no place to sleep, please open the door and let me in. And they say, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin, you can't fool us with that old sheepskin. So I'm thinking, sheepskin? Did he actually skin a sheep? And also, he was in a basket, sucking on what looked like a makeshift milk bottle? It was just so weird. Like, that that was just weird to me. <laughs> so, to quote CinemaSins, let's have apples fall on him so he looks like even more of an asshole. And, you know, if, if there was a rotten apple that fell on the wolf, so obviously he looked like more of a bad guy. <laughs> so, the way that the wolf was huffing and puffing at the brick house, it literally, he was like, <sighs> and I'm like, oh my god, that is like so me after working out. I'm just coming home like, <gasps> <laughs> So, you know, I don't know if you guys have seen this picture previously, but I've been on iFunny for a couple of years now, and there was one time I saw a picture of the three little pigs playing piano, and up on the wall was a picture of their mom, and then a picture of their dad, and it was, their dad was Sausage Links, and I thought, okay, maybe that's just Photoshopped, you know, because some people like to trick people's minds into thinking, oh, Disney did this, Disney did that, when sometimes they didn't. 
and I found the sausage dad. I was like, oh my god, that wasn't fake. What the hell? I have a question. What's turpentine? Because I don't know if that's, that's something made up by, by Disney or if that's something, like, actually real. They use turpentine to get rid of the wolf, but I figured just boiling water might have been enough. I don't know, maybe they just wanted to make his butt itch because he was scooting on the floor, so maybe his butt was itching. I, I have no idea. But anyways, that is my review of the Silly, the Silly Symphony, The Three Little Pigs. I thank y'all so much for watching. Go watch it for yourself, obviously, if you have Disney+, Plus or if you can find it here on YouTube, go for it. It's a really good Silly Symphony, one of my personal favorites. Again, it just brings back a lot of childhood nostalgia, and I'm sure you guys would like it. So thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, little skeletons. Stay safe. And I love you guys.